you want to talk about so Barack, well, you want to talk about uh, oh, fashion? No. I was gonna. <laughs> so before, yeah, I, I, like uh, yeah, yeah, fashion. This was, fashion. This was, so I actually had an interesting conversation with someone came to my, to, to my office and uh, like talking about how the 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 way realtors are dressed and like how we're supposed to be. Dressed. Yeah. So like I was actually in my Jordans. Now I finally got into the whole Jordan fad. Okay, uh, starting in May, I was in Florida. I got some good deals on Jordans and I. Uh, Shout out to my uh, buddy Gap for hooking that up. Um, yeah. I don't have yeah, a name, but right. yeah, before that was always dress shoes, this and the other, and then I got into Jordans. It's freaking comfortable. And people are like, you know, you started to get into that, right? So I'm, I just want to get your input on this because you guys have been the first one in the business longer than I have. We've done, um, we've done, we've done. Have you done the whole suit? And no, look, we, we've, done, we've done training sessions on this. And, and I, you know, this is like sales 101. The, con- the concept is to try to mirror your clients as much as possible. So if I'm going to go meet, an executive and, and a certain sure. way and a certain thing. I'm in full suit. You see Mikey in suits, you see Steven suits all the, all the time yeah, for sure. based on the clientele that you meet and they're going to have certain expectations. But on that note, I've had builders that I've met on site, you know, one very large builder who built quite a few projects and I would meet him on site in a suit and, he's, and he literally said to me, don't, you, co- don't, come, don't, come back here, don't come back here again if you're going to be wearing a suit. Like that was the first thing he said to me. You know, so you really need to learn to mirror your clients and, yeah. and in all fairness, you got to be also comfortable. That's what I was gonna say. You got to rock it, man. Like, yeah. You, like there, I don't look at anybody, um, you know, up and down when they walk in. If that's what that guy's character, and that's guy's, sometimes I'll you, see you have and he's wearing he's wearing a Louis Vuitton, and sometimes he walks in and he's wearing a t-shirt and yeah. he's in shorts, and he's like, "What's yeah. up?" Like I know that at the end of the day, and if I was his client, I would know that at the end of the day, the same thing applies for any of you and myself. Is that the information and the service that this guy provides? And I don't care if he's wearing Jordans or if he's wearing this. But I will say to answer your initial question, I still, maybe I'm an old school guy. When you're going to meet with people, you should, like I'm doing, I'm not saying I'm dressed for my bar mitzvah, but I'm dressed uh, professionally every single time I walk into the door because first impressions are very big. Massive, huge, for yeah. sure. You know what I mean? Well, and you I, don't want to walk in thinking like, oh, that, well, that's cool. My, my teenagers wearing the same shoes as me. You know sure. what I mean? Well, what, what do you think like, as far as office environment? Yeah, or whatever you want to the office, for sure. <laughs> yeah, you will look. Yeah. With, with, like within, within reason, you know, within reason. Yeah, but, uh, you got to remember, for, for some of us, the office time is, is 24-7. Like, yeah. we're, there, we're there all the time. So, it, you know, if I've got to jump in and jump out and I happen to have shorts, I'm not going to go home to change to come back to the office to then just grab something from the office and go out. You know, but if we're in there for the full day, Steve and I, Mikey, we're in there for the full day. You know, we try to be as professional as possible. But on the same token, we want our agents also feeling comfortable, too. Right. They know. In our in our world, in our atmosphere, in, in in our circle, they know when it's time to meet with a client, you need to basically be a professional when you're meeting with the client. I've, I've met with clients wearing a suit, and it's made them feel uncomfortable. Yeah, they feel underdressed. Yeah, and you have to read the room. Yeah, and just like in our office, like agents, it's not unusual for agents to come in wearing sweatpants and a sweat, you know, yeah. total sweats. And then when they have a client meeting, they run home and change and they go out. Like that's, yeah, that's how we As roll. far as our, in our office, like our office is such a chill vibe. Anybody can wear whatever they want. And, you know, at the end of the but day, they, all that they matters. Don't. Yeah, they don't walk around uh, in, no, no. in underwear and, no, 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 and, no, no, and but, a wife beater. But, 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 uh, listen, work. <laughs> to an extent, exactly. Like no one's going to walk into our office wearing a tank top and, right. uh, you know. But I'm saying if you want to wear a, a pair of sweatpants and a t-shirt while you're working, making calls, go ahead. At the end of the day, all that matters in this life and in this business is the results that you get. So I don't care what you wear or how you're doing it. You get results by being, uh, by building relationships with people yeah. and, and by, by taking care of people and by doing good by people. Yeah, it's like, no, like so that, I, I've always uh, preaches, mirror, the mirroring concept, That's it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I've had clients who are old school and if you show up in jeans and a nice shirt, they look you up and down like, why, you know why what? are you talking to me you if can you're nev- not wearing a suit? You can never be overdressed. That's yeah. the way I look at it. Like, right. And I'm not wearing a suit every day by any means, but I know even just for me going into the industry, I'm better when I'm when I'm dre- well, even just wearing yeah. a sport coat compared to just wearing a t-shirt, I am better, and maybe that's just me personally, but I feel more at at ease it's, and confident in my yeah. in my business that's in my the industry. Point. It's that's like armor. Being a it's like armor. There's there's a famous yes. poker player, I won't name him, but he, he dresses up for every final table. He's wearing a nice shirt and a nice blazer. Everyone else is wearing a hoodie. Yeah. And he said in an interview, I just I feel good when I'm dressed like this. Yeah. It's my power, it's my armor.